heart is more important than this wedding. <laughs> this is the most eventful <laughs> video I've ever made in my life. Today I am heading to JNS Performance. I ordered my swap harness from them along with the ECU. So I am going to pick that up right now. If I haven't told you guys yet, JNS Performance is probably one of the best, if not the best, LS shop in all of Colorado. They really take care of me, uh, especially with the tuning and coming through with this harness. Um, yes, I paid for it, but uh, they're they're honored about letting me know when it came in and uh, getting it ordered for me on the spot. Eh, just overall, great guys. Right here. <laughs> the front wheel drive. More cool stuff at the shop here. Okay guys, so I got my harness. I got uh, the computer as well. And the harness actually comes with instructions. So um, I am on my way home to go ahead and try to mount this thing up. Oh my gosh. What a mess I made. What a mess I made. Now I know that looks super disorganized, but it's actually organized. Um, I've been separating stuff a bunch. I got the whole system primed and everything. I got a standalone harness from JNS Performance, which you guys already know because you see the clips right before this one. But yeah, so now the next thing on the agenda is to route this harness inside the car. And so we're gonna have a nice clean engine bay. Now to do this, I'm using the posts from the main battery in the back, way back there. So it comes through the firewall here, there's a grommet there. Um, I believe I could fit these guys through down in there. But yeah, there's a hole right back in there and then I'm gonna run the, the harness in there and then I'm gonna find a nice, nice cool place to mount the computer. Now these harnesses aren't that difficult. You just need the pin out. So let me show you kind of what I did. This car is a 95, so I had to find what the X20 pin out would be. That's what all of this is. So this gives me everything. So then uh, when I go ahead and wire the car, there's literally only five or six wires you gotta wire up when wiring in the standalone for the GM stuff. Now I can't speak for a factory harness since I did not buy a factory harness. And they did a good job with labeling which one is which, so they have these little tabs on them. So the hardest part about wiring this is finding what the connectors are on the BMW side of things. And then after that is all finished, then I could do the nice pretty wire tuck. We could cut away some of the engine harness from the old stuff and uh, it'll be nice and clean and neat looking again. Now back to the goal of today. I want to route my harness inside the car through the firewall so then I don't have the ECU inside the engine bay. All right guys, so I got my harness ran through the firewall here and then so I'm gonna mount my fuse box for my standalone right here next to the battery and then it'll, it'll sit nicely in there. Okay, yesterday I stopped filming while I was working on wiring. I was trying to get everything dialed in. Um, then I changed my focus into mounting the starter. So as you guys know, I routed my harness through the firewall there and everything's going inside the car here. As everybody knows, the BMW has a ton of insulating foam on the carpet itself, um, especially all the way back up, almost under the glove box. I can't talk, I'm sorry, can't talk. Um, right up under the glove box is where I wanted to mount the ECU. So what I wanted to do was cut out a lot of that insulating foam and mount it right up under there. I also ran my OBD2 connector and all of this is inside the car, so I'm gonna show you. As you guys can see, all of that carpet is extremely thick. I'm gonna cut a good section out to mount my computer and then it'll be right tucked up under the glove box. And then I'm also gonna run my OBD2 connector right over here. Now a lot of these videos are filmed over a period of a couple days and then I just kinda space them out when I post them. So a lot of stuff gets done way beforehand um, before I post the video for you guys to see. Now I gotta simplify this harness, which is not a big deal because the main harness I need is right here and then it goes right here goes into these guys and then I could essentially cut these two off because these are all the old BMW engine harness stuff and then uh, 
I have to tie in these wires, which I will go over with you guys. I'll be soldering and doing a bunch of wiring with this stuff. I did end up ordering the forward facing turbo headers, the CX Racing long tubes. One were too expensive, they're 500 bucks, and then plus whatever the shipping was. And I didn't want to spend that since this is a budget build. The starter on the Z32 would be right in the way of the collector, so it would still need modification. But three, the turbo headers are going to be routed like this. Up and forward, up and forward, it's going to go this way. Um, into a Y and then straight out that direction and once I do that then I will be able to run a single hopefully four and a quarter exhaust or four inch exhaust all the way out hey uh, you almost done? almost I'm just soldering my wiring harness you gotta get ready for this wedding day the car is more important than this wedding. <laughs> oh, People oh get... I'm going to show your friends this video. I'm about to blackmail hey, you. It's your cousin's <laughs> wedding. It's your friend's wedding after. we got two weddings to go to today. Come on, baby. YouTube. Everybody knows this YouTube stuff is more important. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go. <laughs> okay. This is the Mexican sign for let's go, let's go. Vámonos, vámonos. No. <laughs> All right, guys, got to take a small break. Um, I got to get ready for this wedding and... Uh, These weddings. Weddings, <laughs> plural. Yes. Look at how, how awesome she is. No, I look like that. No, she, she looks amazing. If you think she looks amazing, go ahead and give her a like in no. on this video. <laughs> Anyway, guys, uh, taking a break from the car. Um, I will be catching up with you here in a little while. And uh, I'll show you the headers. Hopefully they're there by the time we get back. Your boy got a tie on. You know, we had to go pick up get, pick up a tie because I got to clean myself up. Anyway, your boy got a tie on. We're about to go up to Boulder. We need to get on these, uh, these open-toed sandals. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna Kanye it. He's gonna show up in a tuxedo and some flip flops with the cardboard if box you suit. Had, <laughs> if you had Gucci flip flops, I would let you go to a wedding in a suit and some Gucci flip flops. Some Gucci slides. The Gucci slides. I would nobody definitely. Says. Hey, shout out to my man Hurt. He he did a drift video and some Gucci slides, and it was so tight. So this this turned <laughs> this turned into a full on vlog video. Um, so I, I gotta tell you a little story. The wife was in the car with me the other night. We're tr oh we're trying God, to film some some GTO content. This STI he was fully built. STI wants to race the LSA GTO, and uh, I was like, okay. I hand my wife my phone so she could get it on film. She gets scared. Can I have doesn't film bucks it. for my trip? Heck no. A babe. We got to get this BMW done. Then you could have a hundred dollars. If it, all right, I'll make you a deal. Okay. Well. If the Beamer gets done by next week, by by my birthday. When's my birthday? Friday. Okay. If the BM, BMW starts by Friday, I'll give you a hundred bucks. Deal? Sure. You shake on it. Anyway, she was scared and she didn't film me roasting this dude. The guy even got a jump on me, had like three cars on me, and then I, I ran him down because of traction issues. So I had to wait till third gear, and then uh, third gear, I, I caught up to him and passed him by a couple buses. It was nice. <laughs> this is the most eventful <laughs> video I've ever made in my life. You you guys wondering why I'm filming? He's just looking over here. <laughs> you better pay attention, it's green. It's green. Go. Go. It's green. Oh, he's waiting for you. <laughs> no. This guy. He's uh, this guy. All right, guys. What package you got here? Finally, let's see how these bad boys work. Okay guys, so here's the update. The wedding stuff is all over with, which I'm psyched on. Um, congratulations to my good friends who got married and stuff and to Viv's cousin. 
Now it's time to work on these headers. Uh, these headers are not necessarily going to work perfectly on the driver's side, so I have to do some modification, which means welding. Um, so I'm going to chop some of these up and then I'm going to modify them to work with this E36 chassis. I hollowed out the tunnel for my starter so my starter could be installed today. And then I also talked to a friend who has a non power steering E36 and he says it's amazing. So I'm going to take his word for it. Worst case scenario, I go and and uh, adapt the lines but for now we're gonna go no power steering so that means that that eliminates my power steering pump and everything and that and then I could just get an alternator bracket and it simplifies my whole build out really really easy Mo uh, modifying the headers right now let's go okay guys this is what I got um, so if you can see in here uh, I don't want to relocate the ABS nor do I want to mess with the steering shaft so it's gonna be a nice tight fit but this is my first angle here. I'm gonna trim this down. I believe it's gonna go from way back in there to right here. And I'm gonna make that guy right in there connect to this guy. So this guy, guy got to get trimmed, um, trimmed first, and then tacked into place. And then that's gonna meet up with this one here. So no equal length headers that are going down at all right now, but it is gonna be a really really cool setup. Now for the passenger side, um, passenger side you just need to beat up this tunnel a bit and then I'll be able to install this guy. And then uh, I gotta weld in my O2 bungs on both ends, so those will be there. So far this is, this is what I'm dealing with. 